towards the middle of October every year, the roads of Himachal Pradesh, Kashmir and Ladakh are abuzz with the revving of engines of dirt bikes, quads and various other extreme endurance vehicles as they participate in the Raid de Himale. The Raid de Himale, organized by the Himalayan Motorsport Association and Maruti Suzuki since 1999, is the world's highest rally raid and among the most challenging. Riders and drivers, not only from all over India, but from across the world, participate in this ultimate driving challenge. The race begins from Shimla in Himachal Pradesh, covering almost 2,000 kilometers over a six-day period, passing through major parts of the northern Indian states of Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir. The race route being modified almost every year to keep the challenge exciting. The Raid de Himale 2015 was flagged off from Peterhof Hotel in Shimla and passed along a route taking it through Manali, Dalhousie, Srinagar, Rangdum and Padum. From individual participants to big names like Maruti Suzuki, TVS, Polaris, the 17th Raid de Himale saw participation of around 167 teams and 250 participants across two categories, Extreme and Adventure Trail. The race is spread over six legs, each divided into transport and competitive stages. In the transport stage, normal road transport is not disrupted and the race vehicles have to run along with other vehicles on the highway, simultaneously competing with each other. Whereas the route of the competitive stage passes over dirt mountain roads and high altitude passes, with only the participants competing and normal traffic not being allowed on the stage route till all the participants have passed the route. Some of the routes of the competitive stage are isolated, treacherous mountain roads. For instance, the 17th Raid de Himale took a new route between Srinagar and Rangdum, taking the race to a bypass newly developed after the Kargil War of 1999 from Dras to Sankhu village. And from Srinagar we took off for the Zanskar Valley. We did Srinagar to Rangdum, again had a brilliant new route which was uh, developed by the Indian Army after 1999's war with Kargil. Most participants spend months and even years preparing for the raid, some of them even preparing their vehicles entirely by themselves. A case in point being that of champion rider Ashish Modgil, who, in the words of Vijay Parmar, President Himalayan Motorsport, is the most winningest biker on the raid. Ashish is the most winningest biker on the raid and uh... He's been in the podium nine times, including this one. And being a mechanical engineer himself, he likes to both prepare and service his bike almost all by himself. Each team consists of the rider or drivers and their service crew. At the end of every stage on race days, the crew services the vehicle, refueling, changing tires, carrying out repairs or other mechanical adjustments. Sara Kashyap rode almost a staggering 200 kilometers with a broken collarbone, all the way to Srinagar to the finish line of the 17th raid. Then there are enthusiasts who come from foreign lands in search of the ultimate adventure like Nosh Mystery, an Australian of Indian origin who shipped his bike from Australia to Singapore and rode it all the way from there to India to participate in the raid. My travels, yeah, just coming in from Australia, I've been touring for about 40 days before the raid, uh, did the raid and now I changed my rear tyre and I'm heading off to Australia tomorrow. The 17th raid de Himale concluded at the Centaur Hotel in Srinagar where an elaborate prize distribution ceremony was held after scrutiny of vehicles and a ceremonial flagging. The chief guest for the event being Mr. Farooq Shah, Secretary of Tourism, Government of Jammu and Kashmir, and Mr. R. S. Kalsi, Executive Director of Maruti Suzuki India, also was present. Not just being the ultimate test of man and machine, with altitudes going up to 6,000 meters above sea level, temperatures dipping to 20 degrees Celsius below freezing, 
and average distances covered daily to the tune of 300 kilometers, the raid is also instrumental in bringing out the strength of character of its riders.